Okay, so I just finished the Photoshop export, so um, let's go through the whole system now and see what we can do. Let's create a album called Emily. And I'm gonna uh, import some files from Dropbox. And let's get the whole lot, all 27 files. And it's just the thumbnails being uh, imported right now. I'm not importing the high res files. The point of this exercise being that I'm going to create a design, uh, get my spreads without uploading high res photos. Okay, so now we have 27 thumbnails, but we have no spreads, so let's create some. Um, let's grab these. I like that one there, but flipped actually. Looks good. Zoom in. Maybe swap these to. That was spread number one. Uh, flip those. That one. Number two. Like that one. And perhaps that one. Flip those. Ah, no, maybe not that one. Let's pick that one instead. And. Um, I don't like to bleed, so I'm going to pick another template. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the bleed on this one too, so... Uh, flip that. Rare. Okay, better. Um, okay, that looks good. Let's do one more spread. And for this spread, let's change another, to another color. Like that, and uh, not that one, like that one, and that one, and these two. Now let's uh, stay away from the bleed for this project. Um, it, it seems to me that if you have bleed on some photos, uh, if they're running to the edge, um, if you don't have that, you should perhaps stay away from it from for the rest of the album that's my personal opinion for these four spreads anyway um, okay uh, looking good so save that and now we have four spreads so now I'm going to download the uh, Photoshop script and I'll click on that and now I'm running in Photoshop so this is where I'm going to generate my PSD files, high-res ones. So first I have to tell uh, the script what uh, album I want and then I'm going to choose the um, folder where the high-res images are stored and they're stored in here but just for fun I'm going to choose another folder and then the script is going to tell me I can't find the high-res files for, for your project so uh, they're in there actually so and then I have to say where my spreads are going to be saved I already created a folder for that so it's in pictures Emily and then if I want I can overwrite the style options I can say here that I want round corners and a drop shadow uh, and I can change the background color but I'm gonna leave that so we're gonna see that it keeps the color of the spreads that we had in the online album designer Okay, so let's run this. Uh, let's go to this folder in Bridge now, so we can see the spreads being generated as they as they're being processed. <clears throat> so the point of this exercise was that we only uploaded or imported thumbnails, and we downloaded a very small project file, and now we can generate the uh, the precious PSD files. I mean, they're they're really great to have because with them you can do anything, and you're not uh, locked to a particular program um, so we'll have a look at that when the last <coughs> spread has been generated so we're just gonna wait for uh, the last spread you remember had a particular background color I think that's coming next <coughs> and there it is and now I can go in and 
edit these in Photoshop with Pro Album Designer, they're all compatible with uh, Pro Album Designer. Um, so, for instance, if I realized here I didn't want that street sign there, I can just come in here and get rid of that. And then say spread out. I won't do that here. Um, or <clears throat> if you want, you can go into uh, another Photoshop file here. You can swap two photos. And uh, let's undo that. Or you can change the style options. Uh, let's say you didn't want the round corners, you didn't want the drop shadow, so just click on apply and then you reset it to the default settings. Okay. So there you go. Uh, we managed to create some high-res spreads for this album in a matter of minutes, and you got full freedom and flexibility.